Hi guys, welcome to my channel Lush Gardener. I hope you guys are fine and are safe. So guys, uh, while shifting the house, I lost uh, the entire set of uh, the Cotley Dons uh, pendant, but I was uh, able to thankfully survive a portion of it. I had propagated a portion of it. So this uh, came from this. I had propagated it. So they are doing quite well. Uh, but unfortunately, the mother plant went for a toss. Uh, it was not given the proper care, but I still have few of them which are healthy and which I am going to be propagating it in today's video. So I'll show you how the process is. Now this works out the same uh, if you want to propagate it normally or let's say if your succulent is getting dried, uh, both the options will work out really well. So over here I will check and look out for the healthy portion. Like you can see this is a healthy portion and I'll just give it a quick cut. So we have one. We have two and we have the third one. So I will keep these aside and the rest of them. Now this one is completely dried so I will cut it off over here and put it in another soil mix. So that uh, it can get hydrated because this is only dehydrated. There is not much that I can do. It's only dehydrated. All it has to do is get hydrated. So I will clear off all of these and I will put it in another pot. So I have the soil mix. So guys, we have kind of done. Uh, I have planted them uh, in the soil. Now I have not waited to callus. I have not waited for them to callus because they have a very thin stem. And the soil is very gritty and loose and it's very porous and it's completely bone dry. So it will root inside this. Uh, so I do not have to be worried. Now again, uh, the update is going to take a very long time because I've just planted them. Uh, they will get calloused within a day or so because the stem is very thin as you might have seen. So it will take another uh, few days, probably weeks for them to root. Uh, when they root, I will definitely make a video on it and give you an update. So this is going to take a really long time. So if you want to do a, a beheading or a cutting of uh, your cotyledons, you can do that. Now here as you can see, these receive a good amount of uh, morning direct sunlight for 5 to 6 hours and I can hardly see the stem. Uh, the stem is completely covered with the uh, pendants and it's almost impossible to see uh, the stem. Probably over here you can see the stem. So this is how it's supposed to be. There should be so much of growth that uh, the stem should not be visible. Uh, whereas over here uh, this one uh, is completely dried. So I'll have to wait. Uh, the roots are not present. The stem is actually almost dried up. But I'll still give it a chance. I will put it into the soil and see what happens next. Uh, probably after it starts to root a little bit, I will start watering it. Uh, the lower ones look a little bit fresh. The lower ones look a little bit fresh, but still I'll have to give it another uh, soil to grow. So let's hope that the things go well. This is the previous one. The soil also is very compact and uh, it was not watered. So it went in a very bad state. But nevertheless, we already have one full pot and another few to propagate. So what I'm going to do is I think I will put the uh, cutting in this itself and let's see what happens next because any which way this is completely dry. And if I keep it somewhere else, I might forget it. So I'm going to keep them in this. Probably I'll move this one. So you can see this is how the stem looks like. Uh, it's a fresh cut so this is how I have cut the stem so I'm going to place it over here so that uh, these guys can have a good growth so let's hope that everything goes well so I've kept the dried stem as well in this so after a few days I will water it once when I tend to see that uh, the roots have appeared I will do a proper watering so that it can get hydrated now it's going to be kept in indirect bright light. This is going to be kept back again in morning direct sunlight because it's completely acclimated. It's doing quite well. So this is going to be kept in morning direct sunlight while these are going to be kept in indirect bright light so that they can root. If I'm going to put them out in direct sunlight, uh, they will get dehydrated because they do not have roots now. So I'll have to place them in indirect bright light. So it's going to be kept in indirect bright light. And uh, as and when I see any kind of progress on it, I will definitely share it with you guys. So guys, I hope that this video on Cotley Dawn propagation was helpful to you if it was please hit the like button if you're new to my channel please consider subscribing to it until then take care stay safe and keep propagating